Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my monthly predictive reading for March 2020. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Virgo, off-camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing, meditated over, and shuffled these cards just for you. We will be using a card from the deck Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Earth Energy, Chur Element. This is a card of waiting. You've dedicated your time and money and your efforts. You're stepping back and seeing if you're whether you're on the right path or not. You're rethinking and reevaluating, assessing. You're having to have patience. You're aiming for long-term growth and not those instant rewards. And your investments are going to pay off in the future. But this is a time-out card. This is still waiting for that success, a pause during the development. You're not failing, but you are learning, and you're questioning your standpoint, and you're looking from a different perspective. But it warns not to stop for long, because all those past efforts will only come to fruition through consistent effort. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Four of Wands, Virgo. Fire energy. This is a card of celebration after all the labor. It's a party. It's good times. It's results. The completion of a stage. This card is extremely positive. You'll get to enjoy life and reap rewards. And something new is soon coming. It's success and being happy and productive and celebration after labor. It's a pause in activities. You get to rest. It could be a holiday coming. Relaxation. Could maybe even purchase a new home. It's a foundation for creativity and it heralds prosperity, arrival, and rejoicing. It's a reward for a breakthrough, a level that is finished. You could be taking a relationship to the next level. It's reaching a milestone and celebrating. This is putting down roots together, or a housewarming. It's the 1111 card portal, twin flame that can bring in a sense of stability. It's a run of luck. It's a sense of well-being and a settled quality, like a rite of passage. The seven of pentacles with the four of wands is enjoyment of business after hard work. It's harvest and home. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of. The Nine of Swords, Virgo. This is wor uh, air energy. It's worry and anxiety. It's thoughts that race through your head and keep you awake at night. These worries are unfounded because it's in your head. It brings you anxiety and insomnia and low energy. And there's a need to be patient. There could be regrets. You'll need to sp speak up to solve problems. This suffering is in your mind. It's a mental torture. You'll need to make required changes for a better future. It could be ruined plans or health worries. Steps should be taken to solve these problems. And you are near the end of your mental ordeal. You may be preoccupied with past experiences, feeling unworthy or overly fearful, worried about the future, maybe overly sensitive to other people's opinions. This is a high-stress card. You may be having feelings of guilt regarding a past transgression. Often the fear of difficulties is worse than the reality. The fear is far worse than the outcome. Put two and two together and look at contradictions around you. Strengthen your resolve and your patience. And try not to feel so down by all the temporary blockages or difficulties. These are old goals darkening over and new ones lightening up. It's fresh mental pastures ahead. The Seven of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords are financial matters that you worry about. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Well, this is a good card, Virgo. Earth Energy, the Nine of Pentacles. This is feeling accomplished. It's enjoying the fruits of your labor, self-sufficiency, and self-reliance. This is Venus in Virgo. This is feeling accomplished in your goals and feeling secure. There's a great harvest. There's abundance. 
you'll be able to further your career and your projects and enjoy a secure base. Its material well-being and well-controlled thought and solitary enjoyment of the good life, love of gardens and home, these are earned rewards through discipline. This is someone that tamed their impulses, just like the bird that they tamed on their arm. It may be a time to act with such discipline, because you will accomplish much by taming your instincts and harness that self-discipline. This could also be a time of self-reliance for taking charge of your own future, or you may be craving more independence. You've been working towards a goal, and you're going to be flourishing. This can also be being on a lavish holiday, taking a break to enjoy life smell the roses. It's the freedom to be yourself, to live in an ordered life. Now you may not have to work so hard. Could be better than you expected. The Seven of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles is an, in is an increase in financial matters. It's a well-earned breakthrough. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ace of Swords, Virgo. Air energy. This is the root of all air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is a new beginning. With truth and clarity and realization, something's going to be crystal clear. Air always has to do with the intellect and the mind and the thoughts. The love of truth and justice and spirituality. They express boldness and courage and can indicate strife. The Ace of Swords is... A new beginning, a brand new way of life. It's a major breakthrough, a new direction in your life, and it brings prosperity and recognition and spiritual growth. There's triumph over difficulties. This is a spark, a communication, and you'll find strength in adversity. And out of something bad, good will come. It's a situation that may have looked bleak that can surprisingly turn out to be extremely promis promising. A sense of inevitable change comes with this card card of great power and force and strength. So build your strength against adversity and study all aspects of a problem carefully and do not make any rash or hurried decisions. This is getting to the point, checking facts. It's seeking and seeking the truth, seizing the truth. It's keeping your promises. It's communicating with clarity, even putting it in writing. Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords is someone that needs more stimulation at work. There could be a lack of job satisfaction. The Four of Wands with the Nine of Swords is worrying about social settings. You may be regretting doing something in public. The Four of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles is the fruits of labor and enjoying entertaining at home. The Four of Wands with the Ace of Swords is doing well on interviews or tests. The Nine of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles is worry again over finances, and two nines in your reading represent receipt, receiving something. The Nine of Swords with the Ace of Swords is suffering from what was said, either by you or someone about you. The Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords is an independent lady, considers cutting someone off because they know they are right. Here's your advice from the Oracle Deck. Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. You've got card number 29, Despair, from your nature spirits. Despair has to do with despondency, desperation, torment, and apprehension. Sounds like the Nine of Swords there. Whether you call it a bad mood or a bad day or even a bad life, feeling complete desolation and despair has you in its grip. All seems bleak. This isn't to suggest that your feelings of hopelessness are without cause. Genuinely difficult situations may be causing true anxiety, but it's more likely that your fears are exaggerating things way out of proportion. Fortunately, your nature spirits are on hand, luring you out of your inner despair and rerouting your attention back to nature. They urge you to stop dwelling on problems for the time being and go outside. Breathe the air, smell the grass, take a walk, notice the wind. Come back to earth, back to the moment, back to the beauty and bounty your divine mother, mother offers. And if you're feeling trapped in an emotional maze of fear and drama, your only way back to balance and clarity is to get grounded in the moment and return to the natural world. Let your nature spirits lead you to Mother Earth, and she will calm and comfort your soul. The message for you is, get back to nature. 
Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.